I saw the entertainment in primary four. Chinoso Arubai. I'm so angry. I believe it. I'm so upset. What are you really upset about? Everything. Actress, television presenter, and producer Chino Soruba in an interview with Heap TV discussed her journey in the entertainment space. She disclosed that her journey began as a young girl in primary four, expecting periods of instability as she alternated between different roles. Initially starting as an actress, she later transitioned to radio and TV presenting before fully committing to acting when she felt prepared and confident in her career choice, according to her. Uh, my journey in the entertainment industry has been like this, 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 this. It has not been straight. <laughs> it's been one hell of a bumpy ride. In truth, I actually, I can say I started being in the industry when I was in primary school, literally, because I had my first TV commercial when I was in primary four. And then since then, I've done beauty pageants. I've done, I've gone into modeling. I've gone behind the scenes. I've worked on radio, done TV, done newspaper. So my, my journey, you understand, it's like this. Um, so far, it's been great, very exciting, very interesting. What keeps me going is my passion, obviously, because sometimes you get tired and then I just say to myself, I feel like I was born to do this. I feel like I have fun, even through the struggle. Sometimes it's so difficult, but I enjoy the energy, the creative energy just keeps me going. So I always come back. Sometimes I'll run away and say, I'm not doing this again. I'll go behind the camera, but I'll come right back and start pushing all over again. Chino Sarubai underscored that the persistent issue of sexualization in the industry is primarily due to the absence of a structured framework in the entertainment space. She pointed out that emerging talents eager for fame becoming vulnerable to exploitation by producers, exploiting the lack of regulatory structure. In her words, um, I think it all starts with the individual and everyone and just being in the industry, not out of desperation, because the moment you're desperate, you'll be easy to be taken advantage of. It's almost like a dog-eat-dog -dog industry, right? In every, in every career, pretty much, everybody's trying to, like, you know, prey on someone else, and even more so in the entertainment industry, especially because there's not, there's not as much structure in the entertainment industry as there is somewhere else, so it's very easy to be taken advantage of. One thing you have to do is just be confident in yourself. Know that you're enough. Don't be desperate. That's why I said my, my journey has been up, down, up, down. Sometimes I just feel like, man, I can't do this anymore. You find that maybe there's someone who, earlier, when I was younger, I find that there were people who maybe I'd go for an audition and then right after the, after the audition they'll be like ah your lips are they real or fake and I'll be like what did consign my lips consign this audition and I will literally I was so extreme that I will literally not even pick your call after then and you've probably cast me for the role but I just wasn't ready to play so that's why I said that there were times I would go take a break and then come right back and um because I knew it was something I was I believed I was born to do I it's something I wasn't being passionate about so if you know your guns and you know that this is your talent this is the skill that god has given you don't let and don't take no for an answer don't let anybody like push you out of the industry just because they want to prey on you like stand your ground improve yourself get better at what you do network and networking doesn't mean sleeping around honey just be strategic and i think now more than ever we have social media we literally have the platform in our hands so what are you doing with that platform that you have what are you doing with your phone so many people have have been able to go viral from doing videos so if you feel you have what it takes if you have talent don't let anybody stop you you are your first priority you're your first you're your first answer so you know just stay true to yourself oh, Dante, tell them exactly how you feel uh, um I would like to think about... <laughs>